They say that the world is changing for the better. But is it really? Rising temperatures, widening socio-economic inequalities and growing wastage of resources presents a bird's eye view of the world that we are currently living in. Utilizing the power of social entrepreneurship in transforming the lives of the communities and making this world a better place for future generations. A group of 55 passionate undergraduate students from Kalindi College, University of Delhi have created social entrepreneurial models targeting the contemporary problems that the world is facing. In alignment with the Sustainable Development Goals of the United Nations, the team works towards erasing social stigmas through business ideas that promote sustainability while targeting the present-day social issues and motivating the underprivileged communities to become self-sustained entrepreneurs. This is Inactis Kalindi, utilizing entrepreneurial actions for a better tomorrow. Presenting two of our projects, Project Viran and Rahi. India, the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables in the world, wastes an estimated 40% of its food amounting to rupees 92,000 crores. Sadly, according to the Global Hunger Index 2021, India has plummeted to the 101st rank out of 116 nations, reflecting the severe hunger and malnutrition persisting in the country. In our country, most of the agricultural produce is rejected owing to a lack of visual appeal. One of the most popular supermarket chains in Delhi disposes of 18.7 kgs of agricultural produce per store on an everyday basis. Given that they have 400 stores across different parts of the city, the supermarket chain on average wastes 7.5 tons of fruits and vegetables daily. 84.7% of the wasted produce is directly disposed of in bins, eliminating all the possibilities of utilizing it sustainably. If we take into account the food wastage that takes place daily in the national capital alone, over 2,500 people can be fed every single day. To tackle the severity of this issue, Inactis Kalindi presents Project Viran, an initiative to reduce the wastage of agricultural produce and accelerate collective efforts towards achieving a sustainable lifestyle and zero waste economy. Viran grades and distinguishes agricultural produce using a three-tire mechanism to effectively address the issue of food waste management. To begin with, we divide the agricultural produce into categories A, B and C. Further, taking insights from our collaboration with the Federation of Indian Women Entrepreneurs, Viran has expanded its community and employed underprivileged women from Ladosarai slums through the entrepreneurial gathering process. With a aim to empower these women to break through generations of gender-induced bias, Viran engages them in producing a wide range of products under the brand name Afza. For this, we use the category B produce, which is as nutritious as the category A produce, but is rejected by the customers due to lack of visual appeal. We bring to you the authentic taste of India by transforming this produce into a lip-smacking range of apple, mango and strawberry jams, amla candies and raw mango chutneys. Afza is sold to our customers via our online store and a B2B strategy is used to connect with local grocery stores and small cafes, providing quality products at the most affordable prices. In the pursuit of reaching out to a large base of customers, we have effective collaborations with influencers that help us market our product to the last mile. We also train our community in microfinance, packaging and advertising, preparing them to become self-sustained entrepreneurs. Category C produce, which includes rotten fruits and vegetables, is utilized for composting. Under Viran's initiative, Compostify, we promote the benefits of home composting. We have successfully organized sessions in collaboration with the Green Karma Association to educate our audience about the benefits and easy methods of home composting. Under Compostify, Viran reached out to interested households and helped them in setting up their home composting setups to ease the process. In the near future, we plan on engaging chains of small restaurants and cafes and setting up composting setups for them, which will further contribute to reducing the wastage of agricultural products and popularizing the practice of composting. 
Viran had collaborated with the Punjab Agriculture University, educating 67 marginal farmers about the interface of Inam in their local language, therefore multiplying the impact of our on-field activities. To take our work with marginal farmers further, Viran is working towards releasing a bioenzyme made from category C produce that will be a revolutionary step towards becoming a zero-waste economy, further helping marginalized farmers to boost their soil health at reduced costs. Owing to the unique solution provided by Viran to the grave problem of food wastage, this year Viran won the prestigious KPMG Business Ethics Grant and out of 80 teams participating worldwide, Viran is one of the top 12 teams in the race to feed the planet. Through its active on-field presence, Viran has generated a total revenue of Rs 1,25,000 empowered 16 women entrepreneurs, uplifted 67 marginal farmers, installed composting setups at 13 households, thereby impacting the lives of 4,500 people, while reducing 20,000 kgs of food wastage and minimizing the carbon footprint by 18,200 kgs. We now present our second project, Project Rahi. The earth is both beautiful and complex. Above all, it is ever-changing. In the last few months, India has experienced the wrath of climate change. Rising temperatures and unbearable hot winds have made us aware of climate change now more than ever. Our country generates an alarming 13% of the total waste generated in the world which amounts to 277.1 million tons of waste annually. Unfortunately, only 20% is treated through appropriate and effective mechanisms and 80% of it is dumped in landfills. The three major problems associated with growing landfills are toxins, leachate and greenhouse gases. Further, the largest threat posed to the environment by landfills is the emission of greenhouse gases mainly comprising 55% methane and 44% carbon dioxide. It has been reported that on average, a landfill site produces methane that is enough to fuel a power station. To effectively deal with the menace of landfills, enact is in the introduced Project Rahi an initiative to undertake crucial waste management efforts by preventing the waste to reach landfills in the first place. By upcycling waste, we promote sustainable choices and target climate change with our innovative entrepreneurial model. After months of research, we devised a model to empower underprivileged communities by providing them with an alternative source of income and enabling them to lead a life of dignity. By creating an array of multi-purpose products, we have engaged communities varying from underprivileged women skilled in tailoring to small-scale gardeners who had lost their livelihood during the pandemic. Our business model is aimed at upcycling three types of wastes, namely micropollutants, scrap tires and discarded clothes. First, micropollutants like cotton microdust, sawdust and construction waste are usually neglected by the naked eye. However, these micropollutants are the constituents for the leachhead that seeps into groundwater, polluting it to a severe extent. To combat this problem, Rahi introduces BioBricks, the future of sustainable constructions. These bricks are composed of cow dung, a specific proportion of cotton microdust, lime and sawdust. The team has conducted a set of rigorous tests to ensure their strength and durability. Rahi aims to create a demand for biobricks in the construction of pavements, eco toilets, and other sustainable establishments. Second, every year India reportedly generates 2,75,000 scrap tires, out of which 60% are illegally dumped in the landfills. These tires are often burnt, releasing poisonous gases into the environment, further amplifying the impact of greenhouse gases. Rahi transforms scrap tires into a range of visually appealing furniture. We have engaged the community of small-scale gardeners to upcycle 12 tires into an aesthetic range of planters, water tubs and tables. 
The third category of bulk waste generated was seen surrounding the problem posed by fast fashion. In 2020, about 18.6 million tons of clothing ended up in landfills. To break this pattern, Rahi deduced the strategy to sustainably upcycle old clothes to create beautiful, minimalistic yet useful products like face masks, pouches and scrunchies. Behind these initiatives, Project Rahi has its foundation in the motto of transforming waste into wealth before it ends up getting collected in landfills. We aim to engage India's population in supporting the cause and spreading awareness by taking small steps for a larger impact towards living a more climate conscious life. In one year of operation, Rahi has managed to raise a revenue of rupees 8000. Construct 60 bio bricks upcycle 8 kgs of old clothes and put 12 scrap tires to use overall contributing to the reduction of carbon footprint emissions by 60 metric tons carrying a vision to eliminate every pollutant from landfills by employing effective waste management systems and allowing underprivileged communities to live a life of opportunity hope and dignity we are in the house of the people